Do you know how to work with different units of time? Let's take a look at an example that uses minutes, days, hours, and weeks. How many minutes are there in two weeks? This is the question that we're going to ask. So let's break it down. We want to know how many minutes there are in two weeks. Well, the first thing that we know is that we know that there are 60 minutes in one hour. We're going to work ourselves up to the two weeks. There are 24 hours in one day. And there are 14 days in two weeks. We can abbreviate weeks. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use something called dimensional analysis and we're going to cancel all of the common units. The units being minutes, hours, days, weeks. Those are the units of time that we're working with. Now look here. We have hours here in the denominator. We have hours here in the numerator. Those can cancel. Do we have minutes anywhere else? No, so minutes needs to stay the same. However, we have days here and we have days here. So if we re rewrite this, we have 60 times 24 times 14 over 1 times 1 times 2. And weeks is here. And let's draw that a little longer. And my numerator is minutes. Now I'm going to do the multiplication. When I multiply, I have 20,160 minutes in two weeks. We can use dimensional analysis and other problems too. Let's say we wanted to figure out how many meters we can find by using kilometers. So let's think of that another way. Let's say we have 69 kilometers per hour and we want to know how many meters that's equal to. Well we can break it down again. Let's start with the units. We have 69 kilometers and that's in one hour. How many meters are in a kilometer? 1,000. So we have 1,000 meters equals 1 kilometer. You'll notice that this problem is a little simpler than the one we just did because these are the only units that we need. Now where do we have common units? We have kilometers and kilometers. Those cancel. So now we have 69 times 1,000 meters in our numerator and we have one hour in our denominator. 69 times 1,000 is 69,000 meters per one hour. This is our answer and our work is complete.